Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be playing some Rek'Sai because she's still the strongest jungler in the game. Last time we did Conquer, so this time I wanted to show you the power of Hell Blades. It's by far her best keystone for ganking. It's not quite as good for invading the enemy jungler unless you know they're gonna be missing HP. For example, you wouldn't want to invade a Warwick, a Lee Sin, or even necessarily a Kindred with this. Champions that should farm full HP. There's no reason to fight them with Hell Blades. This is more for ganking or more for killing people who are already gonna be missing at least a quarter to a third HP. So we have Hellblade, Sudden, Eyeball, Relentless, Free Boots, Cosmic, Double AD, and Armor. We're gonna start on our red buff as Rek'Sai normally does. We'll take red and do wraps, Krug, gank the closest side lane. So on this side, it would be a bot gank. So this side, it's a top gank. This is the fastest way to hit level three. And it's the fastest way to hit three with red buff and gank, all simultaneously. You can full clear on Rek'Sai, but then you're not taking advantage of her massive level three power spike. Auto into Q reset. For our build, we're gonna be rushing down Stridebreaker still into Black Cleaver. Stride break into Cleaver is what you want. Third item is situational, it just depends on what you need at that point. We'll go ahead, hit them all with a Q point blank range, auto into Q. Your knockup does damage, and obviously your Q projectile does AoE damage as well. XI has a lot of uh AOE damage. We can pull these over with a Q. Bring them straight to us. You can knock people out of their dashes, jumps, and leaps with your knockup. Go back in, knock them up once that little circle disappears because that means we'll be able to. And now we'll go back into this mode. Whenever you're just walking around, you want to be tunneled, you get extra movement speed. Alrighty, we'll go ahead and tunnel on over. We get the knockup, auto into Q, auto E auto, auto, got him with Q. He didn't quite die, it's alright. He's really low. I got a reset. Earn Kennen, a whole lot of priority. We'll go ahead, pick up Longsword. And then oracles and head to our bot side camps. Most strong gonna start bot side clear towards top. So by the time she saw me there, she should have kind of been on her way to wolves, perhaps, or at least been on a raptor. So I doubt she would have taken any of my bot side camps. GP reacted pretty well to that. Plus, he was closer to his turret than <clears throat> he was to Kennen. So auto into Q, auto into E. Your Q and E are both auto resets. We'll take blue and then push out for scuttle. There she is. Q's on cooldown, so we'll swap forms, get the knock up. See, Lilia is mid. She doesn't know Scuttle's gone yet. We'll get her with a Q knock up, auto into QE. Auto E into her. She's trying to get a Q on us, but I'm not going to let her have it. I can flash knock this chick up. She's very low. She might have warded. I can flash onto her, like I said. Pick a kill. I need Fizz to push, man. He's taking 10 years. I should just go bot at this point. Definitely could still kill her because I have Hell of Blades. I shouldn't have pinged this early. A lot of times when you ping early, your teammates will go in really early and they'll mess everything up. Go ahead and E in. Knock up auto into Q. Auto into E. She tried to stop me there. Wasn't quite able to. Transform. Hit her with the missile. We got her flash and exhaust. That's pretty big. I'm sitting on double smite chargers. I don't really want to go mid right now. I'm also sitting on a lot of gold. We can pull this to us with our Q. Knock up auto Q, auto E. We have to start playing for dragons. If you only play for kills, you will lose most of your games on Rek'Sai. She's an early game champ. Very important to get drags. We'll reset when we can afford. I guess Heartbound Axe is fine. Get him with the Q and the knock up. 
jungle item should finish them off. Nice. We want to make sure we're going to go over. You have to double check, that's fine. You don't want to miss your tunnel. Look like a chump. We can re reuse the tunnels as well, so when we're coming back to raptors, that works. We will be resetting here after this. I don't think we have a play on GP at the moment. Ken's building up a CS lead. GP's having to back. Probably go bot lane. Zyra Flash. So it's like bot flash is like 950 ish. We'll pick up Heartbound Axe and I guess we'll pick up Kindling Gem. Not a big fan of an early Kindling Gem because it doesn't give you damage. But I'm not going to sit in base and wait for 40 gold. For pickaxe. Could have taken that tunnel. GP starting to push up. I want to get this dragon, so I want to keep playing towards the bot side. Moving 371. That's pretty good for no boots. Good relentless hunter. Ah. Uh, need my bot lane to lay a control ward. Doesn't look like they have oracles or anything to really break it. I guess we can take drag. We'll pull it out. Enemies no flash. Easy pick up the fizz. Auto into Q. Auto into E. Cat is coming. That's annoying. Don't think she's gonna be able to do too much. I will use my potion just in case though. Don't really wanna end up dying here. Got it. We're six now, seven minute forty, a little on the later side for sure. Cat went missing. Makes it kind of risky to invade. She should be around her red or or her Krugs here. I guess she's on wraps. We'll Q in. Get the knockup. Auto into Q. Auto into E. Smite that auto into R. We are when she's out of our auto range. Go back into tunnel mode to be fast. Could gank bot their new turret high HP. I'd rather just path into her top side jungle. Hey, Kata. We'll go ahead and tunnel here. Auto into Q. I can take this tunnel to escape here in a moment as well. Works for me. Hey friend, auto into Q, auto into E. Oh, I'm dead. We can take this tunnel here. I think I'm dead though. Yeah, GP art. I think I was gonna die from the ignite, but at least we got GP to kind of slip up there and waste his R. Mmm, wow, Fizz. He's outplaying himself here. Oh, he gets the kill. Alright, that was a good troll pull. Not bad. It's actually a decent outcome, all things considered. Getting the GPR, the Cata rotation. Not bad at all. We'll take blue, pushing her bot side jungle. Ezreal's pushing up as well. This is an easy gank here. It's easy to gank enemy laners when they shove because we can come in behind the walls. Ah, uh, it's warded, of course. Yeah, he already backed off. That sucks. These guys always have it warded too. Pretty annoying is what it is. Control words are too cheap is the bottom line. They don't cost enough. Because just by the nature of, oh, but you broke it. It doesn't matter. That was well worth it. If the worst case scenario is it's still worth it, then the control word is by far too cheap. And that, that is its current state is even if I break it immediately, as long as they find out I'm there, it's very good for them. 
I guess I'll just clear towards top side. There's nothing to gank. Bot side is not doing a great job of breaking vision at the moment. When I see them laying control where it's themselves instead of holding onto it in their pocket, pretending like they're gonna use it, then I'll swing back around bot side. But until then, GP's looking very diveable. Auto into Q. Mixing the iron spike whip. And we'll pull this on out. So you did kill GP there, that's really good. I wonder if I can solo GP in between the turret. We are the same level, which is kind of uh, uncommon. Could just take Carol and probably dive him regardless. Yeah, Lilia was going to be there too. I'm glad I didn't go over there. There's too much risk involved. This is a much safer play. High reward, low risk. The other one was medium reward, high risk. <clears throat> and now I'll be heading up there. If he's late to lane, okay, he's not. He's too much straight from base. Where the heck did he go? He just disappeared. All right. And Kennen has a freeze. It's kind of on him to step up here. Dragon's up in 30. I guess I'll reset. Ken should be able to hold a perma freeze and he has red buff. Uh, definitely Merc try type of game against the Kata. I'll take my portals and get over here relatively quickly. Would like to go over this wall. There's never in that spot when I'm over here. Might be able to do something with the Kata. Hey Kata. Stride break, auto into Q. You can stride break without having to stand still or really missing a beat. Auto into R. I don't want her to flash jump to something. Oh, Lily is over here. It's a bit awkward. I can't reach too much here. Yeah, we go for drag instead. That's fine. Always control words, dude. Always, always, always. Mm, maybe I can get this. Lily should have run out of steam on her passive movement speed. All right, cool. It's actually really good. I can hop over this wall as well if someone steps up for my tunnel. Once it uh, comes off a of cooldown there. She's so tanky, man. So if we see it starting to rustle, we'll hop over and kill whoever it is. Auto into Q into E. Smite it out. Oh, see? I wasn't close enough. I just goofed the tunnel. A little bit too far away. Wait, is Ezreal really doing this? Okay, what in the world? Got with the R auto Q stride break. Hope that was worth it, buddy. I do not think it was, personally. Stole my scuttle, though. What a turd. Hey, Lilia. I need an Ashlow on this chick. Ashlow was not meant to be. All right, let's go back to farming. This is a waste of time. We have double dragon advantage. We don't have to force crazy ganks. We're already ahead. We can coast on the drag advantage and play for soul. Auto into Q into E. Yeah, Ash had to, she was so scared to step up an auto there that uh, Lilia basically just ended up getting away. We needed a perpetual slow on her. Mark Treads is super strong against their team. They have triple magic damage. You always max uh, W last. W per level doesn't really give you anything. It's a tiny bit of extra damage. Is G 
GP diveable? I wasn't really looking. Since Kennen has it pushed. Ooh, Blue Jungle Lion finished 15 minute mark. Level 10 instead of level 11. Very nice. Did I even lay my Herald? I don't remember. I may not have laid it. Eon to get the knockoff auto into Q, stride break, auto into E, auto into R. Smiter. Surprised we weren't able to uh, finish her there. I guess I am sitting on a lot of gold though. Yeah, I don't remember using my Herald at all. I probably just forgot. Unfortunate. One downside to Herald, you can literally forget to use it. You're less likely to forget if you're not doing a commentary though. When I'm not doing commentaries, I don't really forget. Knock up auto into Q stride break, auto into E. And then we walk out. Didn't even take that much damage. She's already missing some health too squishy. I'm ahead, Fizz is ahead. It's a no-brainer dive opportunity. If you can take Lilius camps, it turbo wrecks her because she needs a constant stream of stuff to speed up off of. If she doesn't have that, then she moves around really slow. She's going the other way. All right. Thyra's kind of low. Could probably find her with a Q or a smite. Uh, I feel bad now. I didn't realize Rel was going to sit there and tank for me. Hey, Ezreal. He's greeting for the kill. Looks like Rail's gonna give it to him. Stride break knockup. Ash almost gave him a kill as well. Kind of time for me to reset. I'm sitting on too much gold. Still solo catering in a two level advantage. Roughly equal gold spent. She's scanning for the Ash there. Pick up Black Cleaver, third item against their team. I'd say Sterics, honestly. I'm a big fan of the item at the moment. They have a lot of AP and AD. I already have the Merc Treads to compensate for their heavy AP team. Now I want HP to not get bursted and not have extra damage from Sterics. Enemies are pushing up. That's perfect for me to tunnel in over. There's really none of this warded. This Zyra's length. So, this is like the third control ward there. Less than 300 gold though. That's why they do it. So no matter how much they spend, it's never enough. Like it's it's cheap. Auto into E. Got stride breakdown. Hmm, this is bad. Auto into Q. Auto into R. Gonna tunnel in, get her to stride break. Nice. We haven't got a lot of tunnels in the same spot here. Let's pull this out. Beautiful. It's so Rek'Sai with a gold advantage that you build from level three red buff. It's just so hard to play against. We have mobility, we have CC, we have burst. We're not that squishy. Is Rek'Sai healing around level five from her passive? It's pretty good. Like, look, look, look at that. That was like 300 HP. Auto in the Q. Mix in stride, breaking my E, of course. And there we go. We need to play in her jungle as much as possible. We don't want to being here too much we'll take we'll grab red real quick and then play in her jungle ideally we kill her too not just taking our camps could reset soon for sterics my e is on a cooldown i could walk into a stride break on was that two knockups or just one knockup or I can't reach her with my autos anymore. Smite it. Don't want to have to flash for it. I'm not going to be able to get to her. 
set up that tunnel right there. So if someone tries to cut in behind, we'll be able to stop that immediately. Just like so. I don't see GP's HP. What is his HP? It keeps disappearing every time I go to look. Lily's not getting much CS anymore. That's exactly what we want. I have my tunnel to escape. This is decently safe. She's gonna get want to go to her blue here. That's what I would do if I was her. And I want to stop her. Walk into her. Stride break way outranges your auto, so you can generally reach them with stride break and then knock them up. Auto in the queue. Fizz, please. We get more XP from it because we have jungle item. He might as well just get the residue. Dang, that's rough. We're all too far away. Auto in the queue, teammates are doing stuff. We could Baron off that, just keep playing for drags. We don't really need to do dives, honestly. Say we do Baron. All of Steric's up for drag, drag soul fight. Unstoppably ahead. Auto in the E. Auto in the E again. I don't even have Smite. We don't need it. Now we'll back for Sterix and probably go for... I guess I should just go for Ma, actually. That might be best. Ma with this item, Edge of Night. Because I still want some HP... GP's two full items. Wow. Okay, auto in the Q and the E. Down you go, buddy. Surprised he even bothered to hit that barrel. I thought he was going to try to escape off of it. He was resigned to his fate. Jack's open one minute. Looks like we might be able to end before then. Two of them are alive. As long as they're not AFK, they could actually defend their turrets. Looks like Ezreal might have uh, clocked out. Barely one side, but that's the Rek'Sai, man. If Rek'Sai can start building the lead, level 3 red buff, that's what happens. That's why she's the number one jungler in the game right now. Knock up in a Q stride break. Oof, this is bad. I'm dead. And that's GG's. We'll take a look at the graphs. Damage ult, damage taken, and runes. Looking at damage ult, damage champions, we're number two in the game behind Kennen. Damage taken. We were almost the most in the game. Then for self mitigated, we were uh, almost the most in the game. Less than 100 off. Pretty good. Runes high value. All in all, Rek side jungle. Easy to see why she's the number one in the game right now, at least for jungle. It's because she's got arguably the best ganks at three. She has some of the best invades at three. She has massive snowballing potential. And as long as you're getting dragons for late games, fine. If you guys enjoyed this Rek'Sai video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is KingSticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.